In this video, we're going to briefly discuss the concept of thermal equilibrium. So first of all, right, we want to understand or conceptualize something called thermal energy, okay, which we sometimes refer to as heat. All right? Remember that uh, one of the common mistakes is that sometimes we say heat energy, that's not the thing. Right? We either say thermal energy or heat. Now the rule is very simple. When you have a hot object and a cold object, or should I say a hot body or a cold body, so hot is simply meaning you have a higher temperature, this is a lower temperature, right? The net flow of heat is always from the body with a higher temperature to the body with a lower temperature. And I want to emphasize on the word net, right? Which means that heat still essentially flows in both ways, but just that a larger amount of heat on average goes from the hot to the cold, and a smaller amount goes from the cold to the hot. There is still a transfer both ways, but overall, the transfer is from the hot to the cold. Now, of course, as this happens, you expect the temperature of the colder body to increase and the temperature of the hotter body to decrease. And so eventually what will always happen when two objects or bodies are in thermal contact is that this will happen until the two bodies are at the same temperature. And when this happens, we have, let me draw these things again, so they are no longer hot and cold, same temperature, same temperature, and then the flow of heat both ways is exactly the same, and so the net flow of heat is zero, net flow is zero, and this is, of course, what we like to call thermal equilibrium, right? All objects in thermal contact will eventually reach thermal equilibrium. 